In this video, I'll show you every way to add fog in Blender, as well as the advantages and disadvantages of each method. The first method is the emissive cube. So first, add a cube and scale it so it covers the entire scene. Then go into the shading tab, add an emission shader and plug it into the volume input of the material output node. Afterwards, reduce the strength and tweak the color until you like how it looks. And there you have it. The advantages of this method are that it renders very fast and is great for overcast scenes. The drawbacks of this method, however, are that it isn't physically accurate and doesn't get affected by any light sources. Only one kind of volume metrics can do that. So let's talk about them next. Add a cube, just as before. Then in the shading tab, instead of an emission shader, use a principal volume one. Then reduce the density and tweak the color until you like it. The good thing about this method is that it's very physically accurate and usually looks correct if you're trying to go for realism. But the disadvantages is that it takes very long to render. Now on to the next method, which is the cards method. So to make the card in a plane, rotate it and scale it up a bit. Afterwards, add a texture coordinate node. Then plug the object output into a separate XYZ node. After that, plug the Z output into a map range node and set the from max value to the Z scale of the plane. Afterwards, plug the result of the map range node into the color ramp and tweak it until you have a kind of fall off like this. It's important to have the card fade out fully before it intersects with the ground because else it's immediately obvious that cards were used. But then use the output of the color ramp to mix between a transparent and an emission shader. For the emission shader, just pick the color you want the fog to have. Also to tweak the density of the fog, in or decrease the brightness of the white in the color ramp. Then just place the cards throughout out your scene. The advantage of this method is that it gives a lot of control over where the fog appears exactly, plus it renders very fast. The disadvantage is the same as for the emissive cube. It's not physically correct, but for a lot of scenes that's not a problem. By the way, all of these project files with the different kinds of fog will be available on my Gumroad for one dollar. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Okay, the last method is using the depth path in the compositor, but to properly demonstrate that I'll switch to this scene here. So enable the depth path render layer, then render this scene. Once done, go to the compositing tab and enable use nodes. Afterwards, add in an alpha over node, plug the rendered image into the top socket and set the fog color in the bottom one. Then feed the depth path through a normalized node and use the output of that as the factor of the alpha over node. To control the amount and distribution of the fog, add in a color ramp between the normalized and the alpha over node and tweak the brightness and position of the two colors. Fully white means 100% fog and black means no fog. Looks pretty good, but there are still a couple of optional things missing. God rays and some glow. First, the god rays. To add them, plug the rendered image into a glare node, then set the mode to fog low and increase the mix factor to 1. Afterwards, plug the output of that into a sunbeams node and move this little cross here to be just off screen. Then increase the ray length until you like the size of the god rays. After that, add in a second alpha over node and plug the previous one into the top socket and the god rays into the bottom one and the factor. Then to vary the visibility of the god rays, you can add a multiply node between the sunbeams node and the factor and tweak the value. As a last touch, add another glare node and set the mode to fog glow. Done! I think it looks very cool. The advantage of this is the same as the other ones. It renders very fast. But that's it. If this video helped you at all, then I'm sure you'll find this video interesting as well.